What's up guys? How are y'all doing today? The Fame 303 here and today we are continuing on where we left off last time, which was finding the tears of the fallen. Uh as y'all might remember. As y'all might remember last time we started this one, then I got some uh I had to attend to some family business, so I just cut, I just left the mission. But nothing, nothing changed. Still the same, everything, still the same. So, uh, we just have to defeat all the enemies. And, uh, you survive. back where we were. I believe the enemies will look stronger than before because uh, I still play Genshin Impact like every day. Uh, I play every day just to like do the commissions and just go around the exploring. So that's why the enemies may look, I think they look, they have a higher level than last time. And that's because And that's because, uh, well, I increased the warp level. So, yeah, so they're stronger. As you increase your rank, like every five levels, I believe, I think, you like increase your world rank, which makes enemies stronger, but you get better rewards. Uh, which then, like, kind of like. It motivates you to want to uh, increase your character levels. He's probably dead. Okay. I found out that today there's an update, not today, in a few days there's going to be an update for the next, uh, uh, there's going to be a new update for the new like, Archon Quest. Uh, what I've been planning since I haven't gone a lot through this story, I'm still in the prologue, I'm not even in chapter 1 yet. Uh, I just plan to uh, get through as much as possible, but not that much that I'm like out of things to do. Don't push your luck. Okay, I think we're getting close to where we left off last time. Here, I think we got we got to the end. I think. So yeah, I want to get through the story, kind of like get up to a up to date with it, get to where they are right now. There's also gonna be a new event with new characters. 
make new wishes, so I'm gonna try to do that as well. Yeah, so I'm going to try to do that. So like to save up my uh Primo gems. Okay, this is where we left off last. Pretty sure. So let's see. I'm gonna kill this. I'm going to kill this guy. My royal decree. He should be dead. Man. A lot of good damage. even done last time. Okay, so from here... Where are we going? Yes. And what's that over there? It looks like... I think there's some secrets around here. And what is that one for? Oh well. Somebody else may pop up. I'm sure you just. You got one. Okay. So I think. <sighs> We're done gathering. That was hard. It's too early to relax. We're still not done with Storm Terror. Besides, the Fatui could also be planning something. Hey, Diluc. I heard that the Fatui have recently proclaimed you persona non grata. <laughs> what an honor. Yeah, so if the two are the people that I think are scheming against, uh, well, basically everyone, I think. And uh, I believe one of the characters that are going to be playable is... Nobody was ever proclaimed Persona Grata by the Fatui anyway. The Fatui? The diplomatic delegation mm. from... Oh, one of them is going to be a playable character. The Fatui are a problem not only for the Knights, they also present a real threat to the whole of Mondstadt. And when it comes to threats against Mondstadt, Duluc is... <sighs> That's enough, Jean. <laughs> you Knights are subject to too many restrictions. You can't directly confront this so-called diplomatic scum. Personally, I despise them. If I were to choose between eating a cryo slime alive or joining the Fatui, I'd prefer to be crushed to death by a meteorite. Chill out, chill. Jeez, your wording is so very dramatic. You can just come in and steal everything. I guess we can. We didn't have to come and fight these people. Hmm. Okay. Well, I will see y'all back in the headquarters. Okay, we're back. We had to tell what's Don Winery, and now we have to uh, talk to Jean. Protect 
Action Squad, assemble! Let's put our crystals together. Oh. The color of these crystals looks muddy. <sighs> Dalalin, you're going through so much pain. Let's start purifying these crystals first. Please, Traveler. It is hard to believe such a thing is possible until you've seen it with your own eyes. Interesting. It's like filtering wine. The process is... refreshing. I think we should have enough tears now. So next we... Use the crystals on the Holy Liar like last time. Okay. Should fix it, I think. It worked! It seems completely different from before. The liar's animal power seems fully restored. We should be able to use it now. It's all thanks to you. Now, where should we summon Storm Terror? It must be away from the city, else there will be casualties should we fail. Perhaps here at the winery? If the winery was destroyed, it's not something I couldn't eventually fix. But I'd still rather not go through the hassle. Uh, the wind that blows at sea or in high places should be able to carry a bard's words far away. It's never going to work if the air is too dry or suffocating. Paimon understands. Sea or high places, right? Then the best location to play the lyre would be... Even Amber would never think of doing such a thing. If you go east from Starfell Lake, there are mountains south of the beach. Oh, you mean that beach we were on when you told Paimon about your sister? If you head to where the cliff juts out, that place is known as Star Snatch Cliff. What do you think, Bard? Meets the requirements, no? Let me think. Star Snatch Cliff. All right, let's do it there. Very well. Then let's meet at Star Snatch Cliff when we're ready. Please don't be late. <laughs> yes, ma'am! Uh, sorry. I didn't mean to... Okay, so now we have to go to Star Snatch. Star Snatch, and I'll meet y'all there. Okay, we're just here. Okay. So we have to. I will see y'all once I climb up there, okay? I didn't expect this. Okay, just about to get there to the cliff where I think Venti is gonna play a song to calm down the volume. Here we go. Everyone is finally here. Lovely for a fated reunion, isn't it? Well, we must be prepared for a fight. Regardless of the outcome, things finally seem to be taking a turn for the better. Mondstadt has really been going through so much recently. Huh. In the end, the solution to our problem was as simple as a traveler in a song. I suppose the Knights of Favonius may have played a part in it too. Oh, we get it, Master D. Luke. Everyone, please step aside. I, the best wandering bard of the mortal world, shall begin my performance with the Holy Liar. that speaks of your yearning for this song. We are communicating. Huh? No! Don't just fart! Do not be fooled by him, dear dragon. He loves you to rot alone. Now no, he attempts to deceive you once more. Our Let's 
Stat has already turned its back on you! You! You were planning this all on to have me slain by them! Devoren! The time has come for the dragon to serve its true master! <laughs> While you beware your pragmatic shadow and watch the world tremble with fear! Devoren! Barbe! Venti, please, be careful. <laughs> You've known my true identity for some time now, haven't you, Jean? Though, I thank you for continuing to use the name Venti. How's the Holy Liar? Can it still be played, or does it need to be repaired? <sighs> Unfortunately, I think it's beyond repair. You're right. If we don't fight the evil at its source, then we can't save Devalin at all. In which case, I shall call upon Outrider Amber to track it down. No need. Why is that? I eradicated one not long ago, in one of the Four Winds Temples. What? When? If you want to track those monsters down, then I'll seek answers from my contacts. I've got other means for getting the job done. <sighs> Diluc. Though he dislikes the Knights of Favonius, he protects Mondstadt in his own way. Oh? Why does our little Paimon sound so doting all of a sudden? <laughs> Wait for my word. I'll be sure to let the Abyss Order know that their blatant disregard for Mondstadt will not go unpunished. So, we found out that oh, we got new talent for a friend here, and a new constellation thing. Okay, Here we go, and uh, we'll found out our sister is kind of like the main antagonist. Uh, so now we have to go meet with D Luke. And I'll see y'all there. Okay, so here we are at Dawn Winery again. And we're about to talk to Diluc about the Abyss Majors. The Abyss Order. Enemies of the human race. Even the underground networks rarely come across any information on them. With that said, it was a bit of a hassle, but I managed to dig up a few clues. Really? That quickly? You really are well connected, Master D. Luke. Come to think of it, Mr. Big Animal God Barbatos, why exactly do you need the help of mere humans? Uh, how do I put it? The Seven, as people now know them, were once known as the Seven Archons. Each Archon presides over their own part of Tavat. That is the role the Archons play. Only in performing this duty can we attain power. But I don't like the idea of ruling Mondstadt, and I don't feel Mondstadt would really like it either. Go forth and establish a city of freedom without rule. We have not forgotten Barbados's wish for Mondstadt. Jean, you're such a devotee. Maybe someone got a little too free and is just too lazy to get- Uh, however it may have come to be, I haven't been back to Mondstadt for an extended period of time. Without a doubt, I am now the weakest Archon among the Seven. Aw, <laughs> you flatter me. Oh, such a humble god. Is it a blessing or a curse? <laughs> but we digress. Let's get back to the topic at hand. The common enemy of all mankind. We have tracked the Abyss Mage to the vicinity of the winery. 
I cannot stress enough how important it is to not let it escape. So, I think this is the last act for this prologue. Oh, there they are. So, it's a water. Mage was defeated, a certain energy dispersed from its body. It seems that energy was being used to cut off the connection between me and Duvalin. Huh. Do you know of Storm Terror's lair? Of course. I believe the people of Mondstadt all know of it. After Duvalin woke up, he took the ancient ruins as his lair. As it was with the storms that previously cut Mondstadt off from the outside world, the entrance to the ruins is also sealed by a special barrier. But now, as the energy dispersed from the Abyss Mage, I was able to read the rhythmic flow of how the barrier's magic was woven. <laughs> I must admit, it sounds even more horrendous than a chorus of hilly churls. It should be enough to let us break through the storm barrier and reach Storm Terror's lair. Which means we're going to confront Dvalin? I'm fine with that. Jean is the one who wishes to avoid any direct confrontation. No. When there are no other options left, it is my responsibility to alter our course of action. If slaying him is our only choice, I will gladly become the knight that leads the charge. Fortunately, we have yet to need to go that far. Hmm? By that, you mean... I mean that the Holy Liar is not our trump card. Our real trump card? The Traveler, of course. The Traveler? Correct. But you have a much more precious forte. The impurities in the tears and the curse that binds Dvalin belong to the same Maleficent power. Which means... You tone-deaf bard, don't you see how crazy this is? You've seen what Dvalin is like when he's ticked off? She'll be swallowed whole before she even gets to lift a finger! Hey. Nice plan. Worth a shot. I am with you, honorary knight. Oh, so we just need to fight monsters from the abyss and a dragon. No pressure or anything. Humans aren't without their strengths. Let's go. And so, epic actions of brave heroes finally leads to this 11th hour. Okay, so I have to go to Storm Terror's lair. I think it's a good stopping point since we covered a lot of things. In the next video, let's see if we can finish off this prologue 
Um, but yes, that would uncover the last part for this map, and maybe even more new locations. But who knows? Uh, anyways, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe, and leave a comment if you have one, and share it so my channel can grow. And see y'all next time.